Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Mythic Legions, Siege of Biungar, Thwick. And as you can see, I'm continuing my goblin army as I want to keep building up that goblin horde. And this figure looks great in packaging. And the packaging is always awesome. It comes in that typical Mythic Legion style packaging with the amazing artwork on the front and throughout the whole packaging. On the right side of the packaging, we have the little image logo of Aerithur. On the left side, we got an image of Thwick, and we do get some read-up information right here, if it'll focus, and you guys can feel free to pause it if you want to read it. On the back of the packaging, we get some more amazing artwork, and we do get figures along the side here that have came out. Artwork is... Straight out of like something you'd see in like a DD and d book, fantasy book. It's pretty awesome. The bottom part, we do have a lot of read-up information, so feel free to pause it if you'd like to read this. They also included some joint care right when you get the brand new figure, so make sure you check that out. Wick out of the package looks awesome, and he comes with a plethora of accessories. Just like the other goblins, the Wick comes with a little leather strap that you can put on him. He also comes with the two back attachments that you can plug into him. This will allow you to add wings to your Thwick if you want a flying Thwick. He also comes with a back piece for plugging in a shield. And I finally have a shield with this character that I will be able to use this with him. He also comes with a well-sculpted pipe. No, this isn't actually a pipe. This is actually a handle that plugs into the back of the shield. Look at that. Look at that sculpted amazing work. You plug it into any of these little plugs in the back, like so. There's the piece that plugs into that back piece so he can carry the shield on his back, but look at all the sculpted detail. Looks wicked. And then, wow! I just love this turtle sh turtle shell shield. Wow, that's, that's a tongue twister. Turtle, turtle shell shield. Um, this thing looks wicked. It's painted and sculpted to the nine. It is great. It has a nice wash on it. And those metal pieces are very, very sharp and clean looking. The rivets. It's for my first shield out of all these figures. This is pretty awesome. And it's massive. He also comes with a scimitar sword. Almost like some Egyptian style weaponry. And the handle is all just sculpted greatly and just has this dirtied up paint as you can tell he's been using the sword for a while just looks really nice we also get some really nicely sculpted dry brushed and painted pauldrons really like the dry brushing on it gives that nice wear to it for the first time we have horns for a helmet sculpted Great. I mean, there's nothing... I'm going to constantly say how well stuff is sculpted, but I mean, when you're dealing with the Four Horsemen, their sculpt work is amazing. Here he comes with a quiver full of arrows. This thing's sculpted and painted. Bunch of stitch work on it. You can tell it's made out of some sort of leather. It has a little hook, so I'm assuming it just sort of hooks over that little leather strap that you get with the figure. But look at the detail for focus there. Look at that. Painted arrows as well as they could. And this thing is solid plastic too. There's nothing hollow feeling about this. Thwick also comes with an individual arrow. I wish we got more of these because this thing, it looks awesome. It's painted pretty decent. A little bit of the silver is getting over onto the blue on the feathery part a little bit. But this thing is... Awesome. The tip looks great. I just wish we had more because I feel like this thing could break at any second. It is very delicate. So if you have this figure, be careful of this arrow because it's, it's tiny. Now how are you going to have some arrows and nothing to shoot them with? 
they actually give Thwick a crossbow. This was one reason that I was drawn into this figure because I needed an archer. I didn't have an archer in my goblin horde and this was important. They sculpted this thing super accurate to what a crossbow from back then looks like. Tons of sculpt work, enough paint to make it work. The detail is astonishing. And what's even crazier is you can pull this. This is like a, I think it's a little bit of a elastic -y string. You can actually put it back. And then if you're going to do that, I think you can place this. Maybe not. You can place the arrow up on top, but I think I have it. I have the string wrong or something like that. But either way. Still pretty cool that you can put the arrow on top and we get a nicely done crossbow. Can we just appreciate all the accessories that these figures come with? The paint work, the, the sculpt work. They are giving you your money's worth when you invest into Mythic Legions. This, look at all that. Up close, the wick has that menacing looking grin on him. The yellow eyes, his Helmet has a nice texture, weathering, even some battle damage to it. Big holes for the horns. Just looks very, very nice. Very well sculpted. Helmet looks great. Body is painted very well. Got the chainmail painted gold. It's got like a two-tone armor going on. He's got silver and some dark gray, almost like black style armor. Now, the armor itself is the goblin armor we've seen throughout um but when you start getting into the ones with the names and not the army builders you get a lot more paint detail um the little sash in the front this is removable and uh that can be actually uh swapped out but a lot of these will have different ones but we also get some painted rivets throughout the armor the extra level of paint is what makes these named ones stand out even more Look at that. The plastic for the joint is yellowish gold that matches the chainmail underneath the armor. Even got the sculpted in strapping underneath the armor. Tons of detail. Now let's go ahead and knock out some articulation. His head can look left and right, up this far, down this far. So a Decent range of motion when it comes to his head. Even a little bit of attitude, which you got to have attitude as a goblin. His arm can go up that far. Does do the full rotation. Then we get a very tight elbow joint. And it pivots at the elbow. Rotate at the wrist. As I'm, it's getting blurry there. So, <laughs> his wrist does bend as well. So you get wrist rotation and wrist bend out of these figures. Let me get this arm out of the way. We do get a ab ball so we can get some nice motion out of there. Some nice crunching and forward. And then we do get a waist movement as well. I don't know if that does the ball. I think it's just more of a swivel. It's hard to say. Hard to say. But his legs do can do the splits. Straight up Van Dam. Get the thigh cut up there, and then his knees can go back this far. He has ankle bend and ankle rotate and pivoting, so tons of little ankle articulation. We got Thwick all geared up, and I have him sort of like getting ready to place an arrow on his crossbow. And I sort of put his accessories in a weird way because if you think about it, if he is loading his arrow from that hand, I put his quiver, oops, as I make him fall forward, uh, quiver on this side. So it's, it's more of a pain in the butt for him to try to reach it. Should have been on the other side. But we do have a sword in there in the sheath as well right here. Got his turtle shell all equipped. So plenty of storage for this guy. And he is 
a very, very awesome looking goblin, especially when you're looking at the horns and stuff into his helmet. It just, it's awesome. And the crossbow, it just adds a whole new level to the, to the figure itself. Now, one thing I noticed that when I was putting the shell onto the figure, the handle to the shield really can't stay on. Um, so that's sort of a disappointing, so you got to watch, make sure you don't lose that or find a way to tuck that away somewhere. But this figure is super, super awesome. I am stoked to have it. And again, continuing to build that goblin horde is always nice. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Mythic Legion Siege at Bjorngar Thwick. If you guys like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit that bell notification so you know when I post up a new video. And make sure you guys check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. The website link is down below with the promo code just for you guys to get free shipping so you can get some collectibles delivered to you for free. And then you also have the Facebook group, the pre-order group, the Toyco pre-order group. Join up with the Toyco pre-order group. It allows you to stay in the know with what is coming out. And if you see something that you like, might as well pounce on it because... Toyco's pricing stomps the competition. Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Megalopolis has no, like, they, they can't compete. Like, Toyco pricing is amazing. And make sure you guys also check out Plastic Cannibals. That is my Facebook group. If you're looking for a nice little tight-knit collecting group, come on in. Let's talk figures. Let's try to help everybody out. Let's just have a good time and just share your collection and I mean, at the end of the video, you'll see an image that says Plastic Cannibals. If you go to Facebook, type in Plastic Cannibals, that's that's what you're looking for is that same image. Click join, answer the three questions, come on in and start sharing off your collection. Tell us what you like. Have a good time. But I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting. Have a beautiful day.